absolutely essential that we all tune out the corporate media blah blah the noise that they're peddling and and vote based on what is best for the the future of our nation and and by extension of all of humankind because that's the kind of role the United States plays you know America will quickly become unrecognizable if if we choose to do otherwise and put Kamala in the White House for four more years with Barack Obama behind the curtain uh, joining me now, Ted Nugent. Thanks so much. I'm thrilled. Now, why don't I just open it to you? Uh, Kamala, we're being told, is the greatest thing ever uh, since sliced uh, sausage or something. And and uh, she did a great job as vice president. She's brilliant, and, and she's going to uh, uh, create a bright future for America and for humankind. Well, Chris, thank you for having me on. And I've been listening to your monologue. And like you, I'm a big fan of bullseyes. Ditto, ditto, ditto from the Nugent family. <laughs> and everybody I hang out with, it's approaching the greatest hunting season of my life. I'm having the greatest rock and roll experiences of my life because my family, my band, my crew, my management, everybody in the Nugent family circle puts their heart and soul into being the best that they can be. So I see you pop up in the Intergalactic Media Visibility Network on occasion. And Chris Plant, on behalf of the best Americans, we we love you because we see you join us genuflecting at the author of truth, logic, and common sense. So ditto, yeah. ditto your monologue was, was a bullseye. It's what is in the heart and soul and the evidence-supported belief system of the best American yeah. families. Be conservative, constitutional, conservationist. Yeah. So these are the Americans in the world. I hang out with them every weekend at a sunrise safari's campfire. They come from all around the world to hunt with the old guitar player because I'm so much damn fun. But ultimately, what you just articulated, it's alive and well. It is truth. It's logical. And it's common sense across the hinterland. So thank you for that. Yeah. Well, thank you. You know, common sense is in short supply these days. As we know, common sense is no more common than common courtesy is at this point. But, but I am a, a jihadi for the truth. I love the truth more than anything. And, and uh, truth is under assault in the United States of America, as you well know. And I know that you're a crusader for the truth, too. Uh, and you're an absolute riot. Now, uh, you know, Kamala Harris is the Democrat. This is one of our two major political parties in the United States of America. And we uh, saw Joe Biden kick to the curb so they could go to their relief pitcher here. And it's Kamala Harris, really, who has done what exactly with uh, her time in public life again, Ted? Well, if Kamala Harris is the choice of the Democrat Party for the president of the United States, then I'm Caitlyn Jenner's boy toy. I mean, talking about getting kicked <laughs> to the curb. She was kicked to the curb by the entire liberal, communist, Marxist, Democrat yeah. left uh, during the debates because she yeah. deserved to get kicked to the curb because she's, she's not to be believed. Her entire record, if you want America to be like her San Francisco, you know, the feces and needles capital yeah. of planet Earth, if that's your vision for America, then she's your guy. Uh, it, this is really dangerous times, and I know we make light of it. We have to actually yeah. plummet this a little comedy once in a while because it's so painful. So I got to tell you, Chris, yeah. the, the points you brought up, we know these things. They're so obvious. They're glaringly obvious. But the most dangerous indicator today is that swath of humanity that buys into it. Now, I don't believe her crowds are anywhere near the size that they claim they are, but there is a swath of lunatic fringe humanity that watched her self-implode during her last attempt to be president. And now all yeah. that condemnation appropriate condemnation and criticism is now somehow not doesn't exist any longer. So keep doing what you're doing. There's a lot of really smart people out there. And I hope that all the smart people vote. And here's something that we're doing, Chris. We have a HunterNation.org. It's a nonprofit HunterNation.org. We don't endorse anybody, but we find those licensed hunters that have never voted. And there's a bunch of them. We know they believe wow. in God country law and order being the best that you can be that man in the arena but they don't vote so hunternation.org is tapping in to those spectators of the american dream because this the self-evident truth that guides the greatest quality of life is not a spectator sport it's a participatory sport so we're reaching out with hunternation.org and we believe we've got the margins if they would just vote their belief system 
Uh, and uh, Ted Nugent, why, why is Donald Trump the, the right man for our times? Well, because he's cocky. He's smart. He's a businessman that has a vapor trail of success. Every, every policy of Donald Trump for those glorious four years proved to in, increase the quality of life for all of us. Even the people who hated him had a better quality of life. Yeah. They could afford groceries. They could afford gas. They could afford a home. They could afford a hunting trip. They could afford a boat and some skis. Donald Trump really is a pragmatist. He's a utilitarian. Uh, it's the kind of people that I have campfires with every week. And again, I have the sunrise safaris and people come and they're just hardware store operators. They're farmers, ranchers, cops, sailors, Marines, army, they're just great, great families. And if you find a hunting family, that defines down to earth. So they've got to be utilitarian. They've got to be pragmatic. And they all love Donald Trump because even though he's this Wall Street guy, he's this New York City guy, he's more down to earth than any of the historical politicians that we've been taken advantage of by. So we know that Donald Trump is the real McCoy. And again, it's his policies. I don't care about his haircut. I don't care about anything yep. except quality of life, right. constant constitutionally guided common sense policies that puts America first. Think of the other side, Chris. They they don't like people who believe you should put America first. That's all you need to know. Remember a time when we controlled our border, when Venezuelan gangs didn't run free in the United States, when there was peace and not war in Europe, peace and not war in the Middle East, and there was no talk in the media about global thermonuclear war, which there is today. Ted Nugent, thank you very much for joining us. A uh, great moment in, uh, in my life. Thanks a lot for being here. Well, back at you. Happy hunting season, everybody out there, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up now, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz accused of abandoning his military unit before they shipped out to Iraq. And, you know, then he told a bunch of untruths about it. The Democratic Party still trying.